How's it going everybody? My name is Ryan. I'm with the Station Public Library Studio Department and in this video I'll be going over how to add labels and markers to your Audacity recording sessions. So right now I have a preloaded song so let's just listen back. Okay, so the first way to add markers and to label it, the easiest way, is to go over here to edit, and then there's labels, and then you can add label at selection. You can just hit that there, and then you can just start typing. So we we'll do intro. And you can also adjust where it is. So I'm going to put the intro, obviously, at the beginning. And then this right arrow over here is how long it'll be. So let's just say it was up until over here. That's the whole intro part. And then when you come over here, if you select here, and then you do edit, labels, and label selection, there you go. We can go into the verse one. Same deal. Drag out that. That's all verse one. Select this. Make this the chorus. You get the point. You can use this for any recording session, podcast, just to help keep your sessions more organized. Another way to do this is let's all let's delete this all. Okay, so that was one way to do it. I just deleted that track. I'm going to show you another way to do it. You can do it while recording. It is possible. So you just record, and while recording, you would do Command Period for Mac users or Control M for Windows. So I'm going to go ahead record my voice. And let's say I wanted to do uh, an interview and I would start question one. I would do command period right now. And you can see the marker showed up below. And the person's answering the question, yada, yada, yada. And then we go into question two. Same deal, just command period for whatever you want to add it. Then you would stop it. And then you can type in question two. And you do the duration. This is how long they were answering the question for. So that is definitely one way to do it. Uh, and they're both very cool features and they're very useful. So be sure to experiment with them and it'll help your recording sessions be way more organized. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you next time.